Hello and welcome back to JJ's Food Review. So today for dinner, Jules and I are going to be having hamburgers. So I'm gonna getting these out of the freezer right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. These are called RM beef patties. And so you can see I've set up the grill here and it's uh, got a green light that says it's ready here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put these r and beef patties on there and we will cook them and then we will eat them and see how they are. Okay, so here is the uh, patty itself and uh, it comes with a little piece of paper on it. So you just want to make sure you get the piece of paper off so you don't, you or your guests or your family members don't eat it. So I'm just going to peel that off and put it like this on the grill here. And you can put one for me as well. Make sure you get the paper off because you don't want to get uh, paper. And go ahead and cut it like that and, uh, and cook it. So while those burgers are cooking and getting ready to eat, I just wanted to give you a brief update. So I have a new job now, which I'm going to be starting uh, at the beginning of this new week. And I'm going to be cooking uh, Chinese food at a Chinese restaurant here in Tacoma, Washington. Um, I've thought about it and I've come to the conclusion I'm not going to review anything from the restaurant at which I cook because I feel like that would be um, a conflict of interests. So I'm not going to be uh, reviewing anything from the Chinese restaurant uh, where I work, but I just wanted to give you all an update that I have a new job now. So as you can see, the grill's really working away right here, cooking us our hamburgers. Now uh, this is a Farberware grill. Um, there's lots of grills like this, made by different companies. There's uh, one made by George Foreman. There's obviously this one, and uh, I believe there's other companies as well. Basically how it works is, well, they're looking good. Um, it has two grills with heating elements on both sides, and so it cooks both sides of the burger at once. And the nice part is it's angled so that it drains the grease through this spout and has a little dish here to catch the grease. So that's all a bunch of grease we won't be eating and uh, that's healthier to not have um, too much grease. So anyway, uh, we're, we're doing well. Um, this, uh, these burgers continue to cook and they're starting to smell really good. So it's about time to take these burgers out uh, and I just want to recommend if you're making burgers or really any meat, it's always a good idea to temp the meat so they see you take the thermometer and find out the temperature so you make sure that your meat has cooked long enough and is safe and ready to eat. Okay, so I have the burger on a bun here and uh, I always like to put a little face, which it's kind of falling apart now, but there you go, there's a little face. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a try. For me, uh, sometimes I like vegetables on my burgers, but um, just ketchup and mustard and ketchup and mayonnaise works as well. You can do mustard if you want. I like ketchup and mayonnaise. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so uh, it was a really good burger. Um, I enjoyed it a great deal. I'm probably going to eat another one or maybe another two. Uh, I would give it, I would say I'd probably give that burger, uh, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It was very tasty, very simple, but I'm kind of a meat and potatoes guy, so I liked it. Uh, was it the best burger I've ever had? No. The best burger I've ever had was actually made by my sister-in-law, who has... Uh, uh, culinary training and experience and she basically made a burger with the cheese inside and bacon mixed into the meat and that was probably my favorite burger I've ever had but this was not uh, not bad at all so I guess that's it thank you for joining me for dinner hope you have a great rest of your day please like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you all again soon for another episode of JJ's Food Reviews